All right. Hello. Good morning, everybody. How are you guys? I hope you guys are good. I hope you're having a good day, no matter where you are, no matter what you got going on. Think positive, be positive. Okay. So SF put out a tweet yesterday saying that he received the unredacted official CHP report and that the redacted version will be released shortly. Now, he said that he got it so he could give it to the family. Again, he released the fire cam footage. He released the CHP report. He didn't release the CHP report. He's the first one to come out and say, hey, I got the CHP report. So he's getting these things before the family is even getting these things. <clears throat> but let's see what he wrote here. Let's talk about it. I have received the final CHP crash report and the make supplemental report, 47 pages in total, in the Kylie Rodney case. I obtained the unredacted version for the family, so I cannot post it publicly. However, I believe the redacted version will be released soon. I immediately forwarded both reports to the family, and I'm glad this brings the investigation to a conclusion. There were no surprises in the report. Shocker. I want to highlight that after the vehicle was found, CHP reviewed their helicopter search footage from two days after Kylie went missing. They were able to spot faint tire tracks leading into the water. Let's just talk about that for a second. After the vehicle was found, CHP reviewed their helicopter search footage from the 8th from two days after Kylie went missing. And they were able to spot faint tire tracks leading into the water. So you're telling me that they had these searches going on from helicopter footage and they didn't check them. They didn't check the footage until weeks later after her body was found. And they just happened to see tire tracks going into the water. The fire cam footage that was shared with them also played an important role. And look when that came out. Unfortunately, the vehicle's onboard computer hmm, was too water damaged to extract any data. Go freaking figure. The investigation determined it was a tragic accident with speed and possible alcohol intoxication as contributing factors. Now, we know that she was not intoxicated according to the autopsy. Now, we, there's a lot of questions about the autopsy, but according to the autopsy, she was not intoxicated, okay? Speed, they're saying, is a contributing factor, and I'm going to tell you why I think this is bogus, okay? But let's read on. No, actually, let's talk about it. Lindsay said that Kylie had the Life360 app on her phone. I have the Life360 app on my phone. So doesn't Chad. Lindsay said that that's how she knew. Let's just talk about this. Lindsay woke up that morning. Kylie was not home. What is the first thing she did? She called Jay, who wasn't even with Kylie that night, supposedly. And then she checked her 360 app and saw that Kylie's last known location was the campground. Here's the thing with Life360. They're saying that she had her phone on her and that her phone immediately went, went dead the minute, just the second, that the car hit the water. 360 app would have recorded the speed of her car and it would have recorded the crash detection as soon as her car hit the water, whether her phone went dead or not. It would have been on there. Lindsay would have known. The cops would have known. So if they knew that her car was in that water and that water was searched thoroughly why were we looking for her all around, all over the place? 
It makes absolutely no sense. None whatsoever. Again, everything would have been recorded on the app. It literally tracks and record everything you do. Not to mention the missing four hours from six to 10 would have been recorded on there. They would have known where she was. If these all, if these weren't all lies on top of lies on top of lies. This case has probably been the most emotionally challenging one I've worked on. I disagree with how her family was treated as wild accusations were made by people who didn't have the facts. Even today, some claim I was fired by the family, which is entirely false. I still maintain regular contact with Kylie's family, care deeply about them, and have been invited to family holidays. I continue to work with them to provide the, the answers they need, and I will always be there for them as they grieve Kylie's loss. As the redacted report is likely to be released in the coming days, I ask everyone to remember that Kylie's family are real people with real emotions, still suffering the loss of their loved one. Please be mindful of them when commenting on her tragic death. Now, let's look at the mate report. State of California, Department of California Highway Patrol, Multidisciplinary Accident Investigation Team Narrative. CHP 558D, date of crash, August 6th, 2022. Time, 3200. 0032. Officer ID 17550. It's weird that they blocked out the case number. You know what I mean? This investigation was conducted by the California Highway Patrol Valley Division Multidisciplinary Accident Investigation Team. That's weird in itself. Sacramento. And then it just lists the personnel. I will say this again. Why does SF receive these things before anybody else? Why is that? Oh, we will be going over this 47-page report the minute that it is released. Nothing surprising, right? I want to point this out again. After the vehicle was found, CHP reviewed their helicopter search footage from two days after she went missing. So after she was found on the 21st, they went back and, and looked at their helicopter footage. You're telling me that these trained searchers, okay, these trained people never viewed their footage before she was reported or before she was found? They just happened to go back weeks later and look at the footage and just happened to then see tire tracks. Let's not forget that the area where she was, her, where her car was pulled from was never closed to the public. Why didn't they see the tire tracks that day when they were there looking for her, Right. Makes no sense. Last known location. Nope. You didn't see the tire tracks then. You had to review the helicopter footage to see them two days after she was reported missing. But we're supposed to believe that she just drove in there that day and nobody noticed. Unfortunately, the vehicle's onboard computer was too water damaged to extract any data. Was it? Or are we just not being given the data? Because at this point, I feel like you can't, you, how logically, reasonably, how are we supposed to accept any of the information we're given as truth when we literally have pointed out so many lies that have been told? Like, how do you, how do you do that? And again, the Life360 app would have recorded her movements leading right up to it. It would have recorded the speed she was going. It would have reported the crash when it went into the water. All of these things would have been recorded on the app. 
because they say her phone didn't go dead until 1233 a.m. That would have all been recorded. And Lindsay would have had access to that because she was connected to Kylie's 360 app. It just doesn't make any sense. But I wanted to give you guys this information. When I get the actual report, we will definitely be going over it. But I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. I love you guys. Stay strong. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Keep asking those hard questions. Keep spreading that light. And I'll see you guys next time.